All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm out here in Colorado with Karen and Eric. And uh, if you watched the last couple of videos, you know we are out here camping and at the Overland Expo. Uh, and they have this amazing truck set up sitting here. And they uh, agreed to give me a walk around video of it because I have never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this on YouTube. And I think you guys will enjoy this one because it is really neat. So I'm just gonna pass it on to them and uh, they're gonna give us a little walkthrough and then show me how it all uh, packs back up onto the truck. So stay tuned guys, this should be a good one. So Okay, so I guess we should talk about the overall structure first. Okay, so what this is is a sliding roof that's cantilevered off the truck. And so all of this section is super solid. And then it has these wing roofs that are hinged, so they fold out. They're supported just on the edges by poles. Um, and then the tent structure drops down and makes a huge screen room, which we'll show you. So, um, and that door. Yeah, come on in. So we've got, as you can see, when you're in here, you have spectacular views, and you feel like you're outside. But mm -hmm. you have all your niceties, because um, I like my safari camp kind of idea mm -hmm. but um yeah and so and then we over here we have the kitchen and all this stuff we just put in the back of our truck and so we use the tailgate you know for cooking in the kitchen and then we use then we just take this down and this is our bed we've also this is the second one that we've built the first one we used cots um, on both sides and we just had all of our kitchen right here but you know it's just versatile and what you can do with it but it's a really great space because you have this uh, roof has um, insulation in between the two layers of fiberglass and so it stays nice and cool in here and the white color helps keep it nice and cool in here and then we have um, integrated LED light strip that's on a dimmer and then, you know, the controls and we plug in, we have a compressor refrigerator that we plug in there and that's our power, you know, USB ports and switches and that's our battery. And yeah, we love it. We've been using it for about four years and yeah, we're hoping to sell the idea to someone. We couldn't believe when we applied for the patent that no one's done this before. Like, yeah, I've never seen anything like this. I know. And so we're like, really? Because we love it. And yeah, we have been, between the two of us, we've been camping like forever. And so we just, this is what we thought would be perfect. And it has been perfect for us. And you guys built this all yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. And what did you guys do for work prior to this? Was it anything in construction no. or engineering at all? No, I, I program computers and Karen's a dental hygienist. So the fact that you took this on, you know, that's, that's an even more amazing feat to me that, yeah, I know, guess that not necessarily having a background, you just went for well, it. Well, we, we, like you said, we have a history of like camping forever. And then also we've always, you know, we've made tents and backpacks and things when we couldn't find what we wanted and we thought would be cool. We, okay. we just have always just done that. Yeah. At one point I made custom backpacking gear for people. Oh, okay. Um, the other thing is a lot have a lot of experience boat building kind of stuff, which oh, okay. is essentially what this fiberglass is. Fiberglass work, fiberglass, yeah. Uh, vacuum bag fiberglass foam core thing. So hmm. So it wasn't that far out of our wheelhouse. Did you so you sewed all the tent material and everything yeah. oh, yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna they're gonna pack up a little bit of their stuff. We'll hop to the outside, and uh, we'll see how this all packs away. So first, we take down all the fabric. So this was all bugged in. Uh, you know, it goes underneath the truck and all fits with the last bit, so yeah, it, it stays on nice there and very tight. tight. Yeah. So then these are zippered down. 
up into these wings. Do you ever just pull it out and not drop this to just use it as like a Yeah, you shade? can. Yeah. You can just if you just if you're somewhere and you just want some shade. Oh and uh, I don't know if you mentioned it in the walkthrough but you said last night that this is detachable you could set it up and drive yeah. away from it. Yeah. Right there are, so there are poles holes for poles here holes for holes. them. And so you drop them down, and you really need to guide out oh, if yeah. you're going to do that. But then you can just drive away. And that's, then that's really cool. Up. Yeah, yeah. So then to clear the back of the truck, we have to pull it out. Pull it back. And it's got a stop on it so you can't. It doesn't fall off. Too lazy. And then the is this all just it's because it's cantilever it all just stays out there mm -hmm. so so how did yeah. those oh you have little like, yeah we have little tabs, latches latches so when you're setting up in the rain you know in 20 seconds you have at least this part out mm -hmm. and then you're covered well and the, and the roof is all solid which is yeah the great part and of so, it it from moving, huh? Yeah, yep. and it and also do that. gives it the extra, you know, to get it past the back of the truck. You need it to lengthen. So yeah, five minutes. Yep. Oh, either awesome. way. Yeah. Yeah. That and then awesome. you know, deploying it just the opposite. Change it out. Yeah, we've used it for lunch. Just stand there. Just as a standing, like it's an awning. Yeah, so. That's great. Yeah, so. And it weighs about 200 pounds? Yeah, this, the prototype weighs about 200 pounds. We should, we should be able to get it a lot lighter than that. Um, most of that weighs actually the frame, the aluminum part. Okay. Um, the top roof weighs 60 pounds. That's the heaviest piece. Uh, the wings are 30 a piece, so. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's it's pretty light. So. Yeah, and so you can, um, like to, you can take it off the hinges, but to store it in your garage, we take off this piece, and you take off the other piece, and you take off this piece, and two people can manage it really easy. Just, you know, taking it off and mm -hmm. leaning it against your garage wall during the winter months. And so. you can still run a rack on top of it. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So you have you could, because this doesn't, you can, um, well, still mount a car roof rack onto the rails here. Like, that's what these holes are for. We have an old-fashioned okay. roof rack. And uh, we can still have a kayak up there or, you know, toys. And we don't have to take them down to use the, the tent. 
they would just, oh yeah, the tent would slide right out under from mm -hmm. the rack. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. So guys, uh, I really appreciate you giving me a walk around video sure. of this. We appreciate your um, enthusiasm. Yeah, this is, this is amazing, guys. <laughs> And you said this is a, it's a prototype that is patent pending and you're looking to possibly sell the patent design to a manufacturer? Yeah, we would like someone else to manufacture it. We don't have the energy to start a whole new company. Do you have uh, some contact information you'd like to give? An um, email address or something? Yeah, the, my email address is ericb, E-R-I-C-B, at frontier.net. Okay. Um, but like I say, we're not selling it. We, we really only want to talk to people who are interested in building it. In manufacturing it for manufacturing you. Manufacturing it for us, okay. yes. So, so if any of you guys are out there that have any connections with that or something, I would love to see this available to the general public. I think, I think it would be a hit in the fact that you could bolt it onto any topper yeah. and, and run it like a tent. This. Yeah. It's kind of a game-changing piece of equipment, I feel like. Thank you. Well, yeah. as you saw before you walked up, people just stop, and they're all just oh, so yeah. excited about it. Oh, and, yeah. And we could have sold, you know, hundreds of them mm. in the last four <laughs> years that we've been using it because mm. we get so many, such so much positive feedback and interest in it. It's, it's an amazing thing, and it's really cool that you guys built it. And yeah. thanks again for Thank the you. tour, yeah. Eric, Thank you. Yeah, Karen. Thanks, Mike. And uh, I guess, guys, Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>